Nissan Aria versus Ford Mustang Mach-E. Which one is it? Which car is worth your money? In this video, we are going to compare these two cars to see which is actually worth it. We will look at the design features, the performance, speed, price tag, and even recommend the car we think is better. Let's get into it. Nissan Aria versus Ford Mustang Mach-E. The Nissan Aria is the brand's very first all-electric crossover, and it's part of Nissan's next initiative, which is a plan to roll out 10 new models in 20 months to invigorate what has become a rather stale lineup. On the other hand, the Ford Mustang Mach-E blends popular elements of the past and present in a highly desirable package that bodes well for the future of electric vehicles. Just as the original Mustang offered a sports car experience at an affordable price, the Ford Mach-E hopes to attract more buyers into the EV lifestyle by showing them that an electric drivetrain can be fun. So let's take these two apart and see how they compare with each other. Design Features with its timeless Japanese futurism design philosophy, the Nissan Aria's V-Motion grille features a 3D pattern with the brand's new logo that lights up thanks to having 20 LEDs. This aerodynamic grille also acts as a shield for the Aria's sensing equipment for the ProPilot system. The rear end is also quite stylish thanks to the raked C-pillar and a one-piece blade with a blacked-out look when not in use. For even more style, Nissan is offering six two-tone paint and four full-body color combinations. The Ford Mustang, on the other hand, has a strong name and a four-door body style that sells more than most. The Mach-E is stunning and more of a design success than most crossover coupes. The swept back headlights are aggressive, while the rear light clusters are the most apparent carryover from the regular Mustang. If you look at the Mach-E from the side, you'll notice the rear door handles are hidden and the roof swoops down into a set of pronounced tips. Another interesting design feature is the lack of a Ford badge. Instead, the Mach-E carries the famous Mustang emblem on the front and rear. LED reflector headlamps with auto high beams on the lower two trims make way for signature headlamp lighting on upper trims. The Aria defeats the Mach-E in this phase. Performance The Aria will be sold in either front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, as well as two battery sizes. 66 kilowatt hours and 87 kilowatt hours. Nissan hasn't announced range figures just yet, but the four-wheel drive 87 kilowatt hour is expected to hit about 300 miles on a single charge. The less powerful Aria will produce 215 horsepower and 221 foot-pounds of torque, and the upgraded version will have 388 horsepower and 443 foot-pounds of torque. Three driving modes enable drivers to select the ideal setting based on road and weather conditions. Safety-conscious buyers will appreciate the standard ProPilot Assist 2.0 suite of systems that include lane centering, navigating stop-and-go highway traffic, and helping to maintain vehicle speed based on upcoming road conditions. Moving over to the Mustang Mach-E, it's available in rear-wheel drive, RWD for short, or all-wheel drive, with either a standard range, SR, or an extended range, or ER, battery. The entry-level select model has 266 horsepower, but the torque figure depends on whether it has an SR or ER battery. The Select has 317 foot-pounds of torque in SR rear-wheel drive guise and 428 foot-pounds of torque in SR all-wheel drive format. The electric Mustang Mach-E can go up to 303 miles. In terms of charging, the Mach-E can recoup energy fast with up to a 150 kilowatt DC fast charge capability. As you know, one of the benefits of going electric is instantaneous power delivery. Couple that with all-wheel drive and a low center of gravity, and you have a car that can hurl itself at the horizon with puke-inducing ferocity. It's worth pointing out that the Mach-E will easily outpace any regular Mustang in the right conditions. They both kind of draw in this phase. Speed Equipped with all-wheel drive, the Nissan Aria could hit 60 miles per hour in as little as 5.1 seconds, while the front-wheel drive models are much slower, reaching that speed in 7.5 seconds. Aria models with all-wheel drive have the highest top speed of 125 miles per hour, which honestly speaking is a little low for an EV. Since the Ford Mach-E is an EV, being fast is in its nature. But the fastest of the bunch, the Mach-E GT Performance, can hit 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds, on the way to a top speed of 130 miles per hour. The Ford Mustang defeats the Aria in this phase. Price 
Official pricing for the Nissan Aria will begin at about $40,000, though this doesn't include the federal or any state tax credits worth a few thousand bucks. While the Mustang Mach-E will be just $3,000 more expensive with a minimum price tag of $42,895, and upgrading to all-wheel drive costs an additional $2,700. The premium specs pricing starts at $47,600 for the standard range in rear-wheel drive. Now that we've looked at the various aspects of these cars, let's do an old-fashioned pros and cons of each car. Pros of the Nissan Aria Exterior styling Good electric range with the 87 kWh battery pack Compact body style suitable for those living in cities Several power and efficiency options Simple, user-friendly dashboard Cons DC charging, only up to 130 kilowatts. PICG incentive not available. Pros of the Ford Mustang Mach-E. It's extremely fast. Acceleration is instant. Even a slight blip of the throttle will thrust you forward in a way that few cars can match. Build quality is excellent, and it feels extremely solid. The estimated range that it displayed on the dashboard is extremely accurate. If it tells you that you have 275 miles of range left, you have 275 miles left. Cons The charging network that the Mach-E depends on is sketchy at best. Owners have reported poor reliability of the Electrify America network, with many of the charging stations being completely out of service across the nation. Quite expensive. A well-to-do Mustang Mach-E with all its added modifications will set you back $60,000. Summary both electric cars perform well and are outright outstanding. The Nissan Aria is shaping up to be an interesting electric SUV, but honestly speaking, chances are it won't be as exciting as the Mustang Mach-E. The Mach-E is faster and performs better than the Nissan Aria. The only phase the Nissan Aria wins is in design. But as the car enthusiasts, you are buying a car for more than its design. So the winner of this comparison is the Ford Mustang Mach-E. That is all we have for you today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave us a like and hit the big bold red subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. Till next time.